Yeah. It's, it's an atmosphere level, right? Yep, it's an atmosphere. And again, the I, I'm fine with the atmosphere <laughs> itself, but the uh, sometimes the level design is a bit messy. And it's the first instance where we see the uh, henchmen, I believe. Or like, like t Tiny and Diggadar and all those. Demoted. Yep. <laughs> the stage looks pretty nice, I'll give it that. But I no, don't... it's not... <laughs> but I don't necessarily hate any of the atmosphere levels, I'll say that much. What were you gonna say? What was I gonna say? I always thought it was weird when I saw my friend play this that there was an ice level and was ostensibly the fire world. That's true, yeah. Um, it's kind of funny, because, um, yeah, you can kill enemies with the, this thing, by the way. Uh, you have to have so, some momentum, otherwise, you just bounce a bit. Um, but um, it's kind of funny, because. Uh, uh, Crash in general doesn't really um, follow its motifs much at all, um, for the most part, because uh, Crash Free, yeah, <coughs> Crash Free, you can tell like the warp rooms had a specific theme going on, um, and some it felt like most of the time it, it didn't really uh, stick to it. It, ju it just it just had that as like. Okay, you're gonna at least get one type of these levels, like... The first one you get one medieval level, and the second one you only get one Arabian level. Even though... That's what the warp rooms... Like, the theme is, but you only get one type of that level. I didn't even know that Third was a... Warp I didn't even know that was a nitro. <laughs> Third sub warp room has, like, the, the... The Great Wall theme, and there's no Great Wall level in that sub warp room, though. I never even- yeah, that is weird. Huh. The only thing that, um... The fourth warp room probably does it the best, because there's two uh, uh, Egyptian novels there. So, that's decent enough, I guess. Um, I'm happy we have, we have future tents now, because I always- I, I always thought the, the, the third yeah, that's nitro. Um, it, I always thought that the fir the fifth warp room should have had two future levels. It felt really off just having one. So, ah oh man, the w the way the these boxes in this game are coloured in it makes it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to tell if it's a nitro. Maybe is that just me or is that like just I don't know. Wait, obviously I can see that one. Oops. <laughs> Gotta make toast! <sighs> Were we talking about something earlier? Um... Comparing Wrath of Cortex and Twin Sanity as how they're both kind of rushed games. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, we, well, we talked earlier about how like this game was, um, or the last session, where this game was like not even close to what it is now. Like, I, I, there's um, a um, channel. I, f I forget the name of it, but they've been slowly making videos about, like, development stuff about Wrath of Cortex of Insanity and all this other stuff that he, uh, was, um, a part of, and, um, it's interesting stuff, like, there's this one video, video where he, um, talks about, he, sh he sh shows off this, uh, secret bug chasing level, or secret area from Twin Sanity that got cut, uh, because apparently it was, it was deemed too hard, um, and they didn't have time to make it easier or something like that. Which sounds oddly similar to Stormy Ascent now that I think about it. Um, 
So yeah, that, that's interesting stuff. And, yeah. I wasn't aware Wrath of Cortex even had any, like, actual development stories on YouTube. Hmm. Well, um, I don't know if they, the, if we've seen any, like, cut levels or anything like that, but, um, there, he did, the guy who did the Twin Sanity thing did make a video about, like, how the, I think it was, like, the graphics engine or something like that. Uh, it was some, it was something to do with, like, the game engine and whatnot. Which was kind of interesting. So, uh, <coughs> if, if if I can find, if I can remember what it's called, I'll try and link it in the link the channel in the description in some of the videos, maybe. I just have to remember to do to do that. All right, this box is easily missable, so. Don't know what happens in the music. Now, were you gonna say something? Mind me, I'm just eating a salad right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this. Oh man, I don't like this. Oh. Okay, we're good. Man. Like, these, these boss characters should, like, at least be sm smart enough to turn around. <laughs> like, jeez. Good old enemy AI. Gotta love him. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's just back here, it's fine. I gotta go into that other one. Uh, I don't think it really uh, gets me anything. Because I remember in the Seas run, like, I, I spent like way too long exploring this area and finding nothing. <laughs> Just gonna have to follow the main path, and you you'll generally just be okay. Okay. No, yeah, okay, that's the last box. And death. Hold on, do we keep the gem? Oh, we do. Huh. Okay. So I guess we can just go get rush rush right now. No. Okay, I don't, uh, I'm dying, I'm dying way too much. Uh, since one the, job and trophy. <laughs> oh man. All right, just go through here and don't fall through that. There we go. to me that those, I guess, um, 
I'm not sure what those are. Lava pits? I guess so. Geysers? So, Ice Age now? Ice Age. Like when a dodo's are trying to like when a dodo's trying to alert his comrades about Manny and the rest. Mm-hmm. He just fell into well, basically by mistake. <laughs> Wait, which one was this? Hope you brought uh, which Ice Age? Cause you're this one. Gonna burn. Mm. Cause uh, I've only seen I think I've seen one meltdown and. Dawn of the Dinosaurs, I think. How many are there? Like, five? I... Hmm. Because I, I haven't seen the other ones. The last two, I guess. It's... Uh, Ice Age is... interesting. <laughs> it's, uh... I thought the, the... I thought the first two movies were pretty good, from what I remember. Um... I enjoyed the dinosaur one enough, um, but they, they really seem to be milking the heck of that series. I don't think we really needed five of them. <coughs> like, the series overall I think is just kind of okay. The movies make bank at the internet. Actual box office. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen all of them or what? Just three. Oh, okay, so you're on the same boat as me then. I might, I might see the 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 other ones at some point, but I don't know. I just don't really have any real desire to. Maybe one day, who knows. Ah, oh, that would have been nice. Ooh. Oops. Oh. Yeah. I love Tiny in these stages, like it's just just acting as a, as like a as a, as a, like a wall, just go no from side to side. <laughs> Bless him, he's trying. I'm more than trophy is, anyways. Yeah, that's true. Okay, go over here, cause- oh, dang it! Oh, whatever. There is, um, a part in one of the later atmosphere levels where Tiny is actually kind of a nuisance because of his, uh, wall, wall gimmick, so, you know, he's doing his job, I guess. I forgot Dingo Dolls over there, to be honest. I right, just gotta do some waiting. Yeah, as long as we get Sapphire, it doesn't matter. We probably have enough to enter this, the sixth warp room at this point, but we're not gonna go there, and go there until later. Shoot your thing. There we go. Wait, what? They 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 just changed that uh, a nitro box into a regular box, didn't they? I I'm not going crazy. <laughs> or two in that area originally, I believe. Yeah, it's weird.
Uh, yeah, that was just Sapphire. I don't care though. Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit Frenzy. Uh, I'll give the game. I'll give um, Crash for this over Crash Three, in the sense that the final level in the warp room tends to just tends to be like a just a crazy um, climax to the um, the. Uh, Le the theme, I guess? I don't know. Like how... Um... The second one was like this, um... Like this underwater... Laboratory. And this is like... All lava themed. And stuff. And... I, I like that they, um... Do that for the last level of the... Of the, uh, of, the of the warp room. So if you liked uh, the here jetpack, then you'll be happy to know that this control is basically exactly the same. Um, and if you didn't, well, tough luck. <laughs> You're gonna have to do all of it a little bit. It, it, it's it's not for a full level, thankfully. And there's it, there's only to nine. Actually, no, you do you do control this uh, 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 propeller thing again, but. Um, yeah, this is, you don't see this as much as the jetpack in Crash 2. But then again, you don't see it, you don't really don't see the jetpack that much in the grand scheme of things. But it's, it's harmless, so, whatever. I can take or, take or leave the uh, propeller, whatever you want to call it. And now we're in the regular level. One thing I've also noticed is, is that the fifth level in the, these warp rooms tend to tend to be these uh, laboratories with a specific theme, uh, like this one's obviously lava themed, and the last one was water themed, which is, I, I think it's kind of cool. And, which, uh, what's the level called? Compactor Reactor was kind of a laboratory, I didn't even notice that until you pointed it out. Yeah, yeah. I think it's, I think, I, I kind of like it. Like, they... Again, they could have done more of the elementals, but at least they did this, I guess. I almost missed that box. Well, here's an interesting question. If, uh... You, uh... It, say, like, they, um... Had time to finish this game how it was intended. How, how would you integrate the elementals into, like, the levels and stuff. <clears throat> um, well, I have no idea what they are planning to do with them, but I guess if I... got to be a developer for a day... ask defeated mass like, basically, like, Mega Man Robot Masters. Okay. So defeat Rocco, you get to use some Earth Elemental powers. Huh. I, I'd be cool with that. It'll be unique instead of having the Crash Free power ups again. Hmm. That that make that would make things interesting because um. You could uh, like, on honestly you could just j just cut this the um the silly walk on nitrous thing because that's not exciting at all. Um, and uh, we're about to do it right now. Oh, whoops. I on I forgot what barn it was, and I I lit I was just standing on nothing just then. Yeah, I can't do anything. Uh, but um, yeah, they could have. Yeah, just cut that and make it since you you already have one of the, uh, since you already have the um, crash free super belly flop in a secret area. Just do the just make that the same with the other ones, I guess. 
uh, and make it so if you're just going for the crystals, you don't need them. But like you were saying, um, dang it, <laughs> uh, like if you like defeat the elementals, you get like a elemental power up or something like that, and make it so those are the powers you need to beat the main game. I think that would be pretty cool. I think yeah, I think that could work. Like it would, you you would still have the stuff from Crash Free, but you'll have something you need to. I'd approve of that. Oh, what's the button? I guess L two. <laughs> Pink Panther theme. Ah! Dang it. Okay, this what room, th this bonus room isn't isn't as bad as what some of the ones we've seen before, but still, Are you still there? Oh, let's do crash hitbox, why? Oh, there you are. <sighs> do you have anything else to add to the uh, elementals thing, or...? <clears throat> um... Okay, that is I'm trying to weave in through these nitros. Not easy. I'm curious to, to know like what they originally planned. Like, is there? Hmm. I wonder if there's anything like on like uh, online this said. Like, all the fans that focus on the Night Out games and Twitch standing for development history, like, I know a Wrath of Cortex or Crash of the Titans. What was the de development history for those games like? Crash of the Titans had... ...schedule. Hmm. Mind of a Mutant had the hellish development cycle. Oh, really now? Uh, um, what happened during it? <clears throat> Radical had, like, less than a year to actually develop the game. Oh, that sounds oddly familiar. If you're wondering why the game feels a little short... Hmm... Maybe, maybe it's because maybe it was because it was my first time, but okay. I honestly thought Aku Aku was a nitro. Maybe it was my first That's time so playing, true. huh? True. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, it was. It might be my first time playing the game. Why I think this, but uh, I honestly didn't find Mind of Newton to be that sure. I I I think I found it around the same length as. Uh, times overall. May I don't know, but when I get to recording to a uh, mind over mutant, maybe I'll get through it faster because I know the game better now. But for the first run, I thought it was decently, it was uh, long enough. Because like for a platformer or a beam up platform in that game's case, I I'm not really asking for like a 20 hour game or anything. <laughs> Goes by faster if you have a friend and actually know where you're going. <laughs> That's true, yeah, I'd imagine. I mean, I feel like a lot of games just go by faster with, when you're playing with someone.
Okay. Thankfully, this is no this is no water crunch, so we won't be here as long. Oh, oh man. Ah, the triumphant hero crash. Reduced to a pile of smoldering ash. Good rhyme, man. This. I think it's Jess Harnell who voices him. Or, wait, no. Well, uh, the fire one or uh, Crunch? A pipe. A pyro? No. No, I think it's Mark Hamill. I think people yeah. said. Yeah, the, the 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 fire guy is Mark Hamill. So yeah, th this is basically just run away um, until you get to the mech, and then you just shoot like ice at him, I guess. <clears throat> um, are you gonna let me catch up? What the hell? That doesn't usually happen. <laughs> Just been having that curse Let's Play tonight, haven't we? Apparently. Basically just rock crunch from the first boss. More or less. There we go. You can't get more than one bar of health. One, like, a, a, a bit of health. Oh, so I just, yeah, don't bother. Yeah, it doesn't really get much harder. It just kind of does the same stuff. The only difference is that I think the third phase he does the the, the rocks um Multiply like into twos, or he also does that, which is a bit of a cheap shot, but yeah. <laughs> oh man. Uh. Oh, I feel like this is a Sonic Adventure boss team. Hmm. Zero for some reason. I can kind of hurt. Oh, Thunder, rain, and lightning. Thunder, rain, and lightning. Thunder, rain, okay. and lightning. It's so. Can't hold. Oh, oh, oh. I think you'll be here all night. Yeah. yeah, now he's doing this. It doesn't really make it any more difficult to dodge. If you just if you just keep slide jumping like this, you, you'll be fine. Or double jump if you have to, but you know. I didn't mean to do, do uh, that. I did not mean to do a body slam. <laughs> but that's fine. And we killed him. <laughs> oh, Crunch is dead. Final thoughts, here. Well, who was, um... Injury, fun while he lasted. Kind of a shame they just killed off the character like that, though. <laughs> oh my lord. It's so morbid. Wait till he gets to the next boss. Oh yeah, that is, like, ten times worse. How is he, like, how is he... Oh, spoiler alert, he's not actually dead. Because, like... Obviously, he's in the in the later games, so he has to be alive. But um, the <laughs> how is he alive after all these? Right. It looks like he's just dead. I'm beginning to question the value of your super weapon. 
need another mask's help. I could take this crash punk out with my metal arm tied behind my back. <laughs> oh, Crunch. Stop being silly. Oscar, <laughs> he will use the elemental masks. No need for you to lose any beauty sleep. 